everybody and God bless. So I put together a little write up a couple months ago about false prophets and how to tell who is a false prophet. So I want to read a little bit of Second Peter chapter 2. It says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresy, even denying the Lord that brought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. So to explain that really quickly, I want to point out the fact that it says, even denying the Lord that brought them, which means that these people were called by God at one point, but then they turned from God. So it is possible for there to be a true prophet of God to turn from God. And also it says in the beginning, these are false prophets that are among the people. So it's not just somebody that God was calling at some point and they didn't mingle with everybody yet. Like, no, these are people who are like with the people in the churches and everything like that. And they turn from God. So to continue, and many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with foreign words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their destruction stumbleth not. Really quickly, I just want to point out that words make merchandise of you. That really reminds me of the prosperity gospel because the prosperity gospel they are definitely making money out of people that's prosperity gospel i did not know what the prosperity gospel was so i'm going to explain as best as i can what i've learned so far prosperity gospel pretty much is that gospel that's like you don't need to pray you don't need to read the bible you just need to pay you just need to put your money in and stuff like that like there's a video that i have at the bottom and i really really pray that everybody watches it and i'm probably going to mention it again towards the end of this but they show clips of pastors literally standing on the pure prayer saying like sow your seed and they're talking about sow your seed as in your money and they're literally just like screaming out money like crazy like seriously guys you have to watch this video it's awesome but to continue it says, For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them unto change unto darkness, to be reserved unto judgment. So I definitely recommend you guys to go and finish chapter 2. But I just want to explain that really quickly. And it's saying like, the angels even they're angels. They were in heaven with God and God cast them out. So it's like, who are we to think? Oh, we can do whatever we want and be fine and not get cast out. And it's the same thing with the false prophets. When there are people who have seen God face to face, who stand before God face to face and still turn from God. And it's like, it doesn't matter that they saw God face to face. It doesn't matter that they had all these gifts and everything like that. They turned from God. And it's saying like that example that even the angels God cast out of heaven. So he's going to do the same thing with these false prophets. All right. So I tell people this all the time. Beware of that little leaven. Okay. And a lot of times when I talk about these false prophets, people are just like, well, they did this, 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 this. Yeah, they did that, 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 that like forever ago. What are they doing today? What they did when they first started does not save them for today. So the reason why I had put all this together is because it was brought to my attention that someone that I knew believed in T.D. Jakes. And I was like, that is a false prophet. So I had wrote this as response to that post and figuring out and learning that that person liked T.D. Jakes. So I said, from my experience with false prophets, I have been to T.D. Jakes' church and the Spirit of God moved me out of that church. Also, in the church, there are tons of satanic symbolism. Before we went to his church and we, as in me, my mom, my little sister, before we went to his church, we went to a concert that he threw and there were tons of worldly artists and Babyface was making fun of the Holy Ghost. He was literally running around acting like he was full of the Holy Ghost after singing a worldly song. And we know from scripture that blaspheming the Holy Ghost is an unforgivable sin. And T.D. Jace was sitting there laughing with him, thinking that was funny. So T.D. Jace had tons of worldly artists singing worldly songs and dancing to worldly music which 
I have come to learn is a satanic ritual. And I will never forget when I was dancing to worldly music one day, the Holy Spirit left me. It was completely taken out of me. So it was definitely a satanic ritual. And in the beginning, when I had said that God moved me out of this church, this is like, I still remember it to this day. I was sitting in the church and everybody was worshiping and stuff like that. We were in the church and I literally stood up and walked out. And when I stood up, there was this lady next to me. She was like, where are you going? Because it's so busy. Like my mom, she couldn't sit right next to me. She was up in front of me, a couple of rows in front of me. And I couldn't notify her. But this lady next to me was just like, where are you going? I couldn't, I couldn't think like not, nothing was going on in my mind. When she said that and it just came out my mouth i'm going to the bathroom and i i was like i was like i was in a trance or something like i couldn't think of anything else and i was really just being moved i didn't know where the door was or anything like that like nothing was going on in my mind like my I, my legs were just moving and i walk out and i saw the bathroom and i literally like i was heading towards the bathroom and so it wasn't a lie or anything like that I remember looking over and seeing all the security guards and stuff like that. Like, he has security. Like, they look like they're supposed to be, like, normal people. But it's like, no, y'all security. Because why are they standing at the door like that? But whatever. And I remember looking and I remember thinking to myself, if they see me, they're going to stop me. And for some odd reason, all of them had their backs turned towards me. And I saw the door and I walked straight out the door. I think I was maybe, like... 13 14 no i would have been a little bit older than 14 so maybe like 14 or 15 years old and i literally just walked straight outside and it was in texas like i wasn't living in texas or anything like that like this is this is a trip that we're doing and i literally walked out the door by myself and i remember just walking around the church and i literally just walked around the entire church a whole bunch of times until the church was over and i couldn't think like it wasn't me it was not me. It was literally God moving me out of that church because it was that satanic. He was like, you need to get up out of here. So that did happen to me. Anyways, so another thing with TDJ is that TDJ calls people to be in the world. He's perfectly fine with people being in the world and just being of that. But Jesus called us to be out of the world. So that's totally contradicting Jesus. And that is proof right there that he is a false prophet. Now, with Joel Osteen's, we tried to go to Joel Osteen's church and there was a huge satanic presence that we were not able to go in. There was like some some guy just randomly appeared out of nowhere and was just like, oh, you can't go in. And it was like, why are you telling us that we can't go in? And he just would not let us drive anywhere near the church. I don't know who that guy was, but he just appeared out of literally nowhere in the middle of the street. It was like, you cannot go in here. And the thing is, Joel Osteen, he preaches a lot of false information. A lot of people that I know that follow Joel Osteen do not know the Bible. They know diversion, devotionals and they'll tell you that they know the Bible, but that's not the Bible. That's the devotional. So, and the thing is, personally, I have never, ever seen Joel Osteen open up his Bible. He always just holds it up in his hand and says, here's my Bible. And that's that. So I can go on and on and on about how false these two people are. And I can go on and on and on about how false false prophets are and how I know that they are untrue. But that will not help you when you come across somebody on the street. That will not help you when you just come across somebody new. It's like if you give a man a fish, he'll be fed for a day. But if you teach him how to fish, he will be fed for a lifetime, right? So if I sit here and just go down a list of who's false and all that stuff right now, you just know about those people, but how will you know about everybody else? And the best way to know that is that you need discernment so that you're not fooled. And only Jesus can shine a light on the darkness that surrounds us. So the way to get your discernment going up is just reading your Bible and praying. And you need to have faith in Jesus to open up your eyes and have faith that Jesus will help you and that he will lead you to people. Because if you just say, oh, you know what, I'm just going to ask for help. That's definitely what Jesus wants me to do, right? And it's like, did God tell you that? Because if he didn't, he's not walking over there with you to get that help. Okay, you can't make Jesus move 
for you if that makes sense but you need to grow your personal relationship with jesus so that way you know his voice that way you understand him so when you do that god will lead you and he will guide you to the truth so at the bottom i'm going to list a few videos and you can watch and like i said in the beginning that there is a video the very first one i'm telling you guys if you do not have time to do anything find time to watch that video it's so amazing and literally you can just take your time and watch it come back and finish it like just trust me it's that big it's definitely an eye opener i already knew about false prophets but i had no idea about the prosperity gospel and that really just goes through that and it also goes through being filled with the Holy Ghost and how people are like faking it. Like it's so crazy. So please, please watch that. But I pray that, you know, anybody that felt led to watch this video, that you will be led by God and that God will open up your ears and your eyes so that way you can read and listen to the Lord. Alrighty, guys. So I pray you all not get fooled and everything like that, you know. So God bless you. all. Have a nice one.